Hey guys, happy Sunday and welcome back to my channel. Almost summertime. And of course, such a popular thing in summer is tie-dye. But I was like, what type of tie-dye is like not really new, but like what could I do to put a spin on it for summertime and just to do something different? And then I came across a blog post by Honestly WTF and I've been following her for so many years. She always does great stuff for like fashion. She tie-dyed a silk dress with bleeding paper and it's basically tissue paper that bleeds onto fabric or other things that you're working on. And I actually did this when I was a kid and I love the way that tissue paper actually tie-dyes because it almost looks like a Monet piece of art or a watercolor and I thought it would be so cool in different types of home decor and of course a piece of clothing. It is a specific type of tissue paper that you're going to need for this project. Not all tissue paper will bleed so let's get started. The first project that we're going to work on are throw pillows. I ordered a pack of four pillows that were cotton, square, super simple from Amazon and I felt like they were just a perfect base to kind of experiment and do this project on. So we're gonna be making two different pillows and two different kind of combinations. You're just gonna need a spray bottle and some water and then a tub so that you can lay out your pillows and then of course, bleeding paper. Or any type of dyeing is to wet your fabric first and wash them with a little bit of a detergent. You want them to stay wet this entire process. So I just laid them on these container lids so that I could lay them out as flat as possible. Hard to tell the colors because they're so vibrant on the paper, but I think they're gonna be a lot more washed out. So I wanted to do this kind of yellow, pink, lavender, red, pink situation. And I also wanted to do kind of like a, a natural and rich one, tealy emerald green, baby pink, and then brown. So using gloves is definitely ideal. You wanna tear your paper just not in any specific way at all. You just wanna lay it right on top. And it's gonna start bleeding pretty fast. But you just wanna create an abstract pattern, nothing too specific. Have all of your papers on you're gonna take your spray bottle and completely saturate it with water you want it like really 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 saturated and wet I'm actually going to slide this onto my porch and just let it bake in the Sun for a little bit heat just helps it to like really saturate the fabric and make sure that it's gonna stay on the fabric. Okay, so for our second one, it's gonna be all of these fun kind of bright colors. I hope it comes out good, but I hope it's also like really washed and pastel. So we're gonna do the same method and just kind of make a watercolor piece of art. quite a while. You only really need to do it for about 15 minutes or so. So now what we're going to do is just pull off the paper and you can tell that the color is like almost completely out of the paper now because it's all gone and transferred over to our fabric. And then we're going to rinse it with water. I also went back and tried a little bit of a different method. I actually soaked this pillowcase in half vinegar, half water for about an hour just to see if it would hold the color better and then pick more vibrant colors. And I actually found that it turned out slightly more saturated with color. So I do think that the vinegar helped the color to really stay. After the pillowcases dried completely, I went over it with a hot iron to get out all of the wrinkles and to also help the dye set really well. I think they came out super cute. I 
I wanted to do a wall hanging and I feel like this type of tie-dye method looks so beautiful and like a piece of watercolor it's like art so I feel like it should be art that you hang on the wall so I'm just going for something super simple and really abstract so we're just gonna take a piece of natural canvas and tear it on the edges to make it really raw so what you're gonna need for this project is a piece of canvas the size that you want your wall hanging to be so for me I want mine to look a little more rectangular and more horizontal so I'm gonna be doing mine three foot wide by two and a half foot tall and then it's gonna add a little bit of height with our wood that we're gonna be putting on top so you also need some wood so if you're doing it three foot wide you're gonna need a three foot piece and some stain if you also want to stain your wood like i am so just like the last project you're going to completely saturate the canvas this took me a while to get it completely wet and saturated i want it really rich i'm going to do the fade of these colors same method just tear and make your own pattern colors sit for several hours on this one I really wanted the colors to be pretty intense and I found that the cotton canvas really took the color really well so after a few hours I just rinsed it out and then you'll see that anywhere where there was missing color from the paper it really started to start to blend together and then I just hung it to dry after it was dry I took a hot iron and got out all of the wrinkles cotton canvas is a little harder to get out the wrinkles but I'm hoping that gravity helps me with this over time but I think we got the majority of it out So once you get the majority of the wrinkles out, I have this piece of wood, scrap piece of wood, and I kind of want to put it right at the top of this wall hang so it finishes off and it just makes it look like a finished piece of art. And I'm going to stain it in, of course, my favorite stain of all time, special walnut. And I'm just going to use a towel to do it. We're going to use a staple gun to attach the canvas art piece to the back of our stained wood. Using a sawtooth picture frame hanger, I'm gonna hammer this into the back of the piece of wood and the wall hanging so that we can actually hang it up. I really wanted to recreate her dress that she made it's absolutely beautiful maybe in slightly different colors so I ordered this like super simple 100% silk from Amazon it was definitely on the inexpensive side not all DIYs are gonna go the way that you expect them to go or want them to go. This was a challenge. The dye was gonna take to a natural material like silk a lot better than it was gonna take to a synthetic material like polyester. I went onto Amazon and looked for a 100% silk dress and I found this dress and I was like, cool kind of the same vibe that I was looking for kind of the same vibe that she was using I ordered it it came in I started the silk dye process I did all of the steps and it all washed out is that for real total fail so then opened the dress up looked on the inside of the tag and it was a hundred percent polyester dress and I'm like what what just happened I ordered a silk dress and I'm like okay not a problem let's just switch up our process synthetic fibers take dye a lot better when they're exposed to heat so sunshine and ironing the dye into the fabric itself so okay let's do this let's set on another adventure with this dress I did everything I was supposed to do I let it soak in vinegar water for hours hours I didn't even just do an hour I did hours I laid it out in the Sun I put all of my colors in this pretty 
ombre, blue, pink, yellow, orange color combination. I used hot water when I was spraying it, making sure it was all saturated and wet. I sprayed every, and I didn't even wait every 30 minutes like she suggested. I actually did it every 10 minutes because I felt like it was drying out a lot. I left it out in the sun. It must have been at least three hours. I even went back, took all the papers off, added more papers for more dye, more bleeding from the tissue. I'm like, okay, surely this is, this is it. This is gonna work, right? I let it sit and dry overnight. The next morning I ironed it in to add that heat. So we added the heat with the hot water and then I added more heat with the iron, letting it sit on each spot for at least three minutes. I was going all in on this dress. I was like, this is for sure gonna work. This is amazing. Okay. I'm ironing it, it looks good, the color's there, okay. Now it's time to rinse. And I rinsed it, and you guys. It's not white anymore, so it did take some of the color, but it's only this pale pink with little bits of yellow. It basically looks like I backed into a, a wall that was painted yellow and just got paint on my back because it's only on the back, which, ugh, what is happening? Like what? If you want to do a project like hers, I would highly suggest just doing a natural fiber dress if you want that look. I have struggled with this so much, but I am determined. She got it to work, so I am determined to make it work. This may also be labeled wrong. Is this 100% polyester? Who knows? I just, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So if you have tried this DIY, if you have actually done tissue bleeding on polyester fabric and you did it perfectly, please tell me your ways. Comment below, send me a DM on Instagram, tell me what you did. Cause I would love to actually, I'm like determined to accomplish it and determined to figure it out so that we know how to do this. Ugh. I hope you guys enjoyed my adventure with tissue dyeing. I think the pillows came out really cute. You could even do them like on your patio or bigger pillows. I found that leaving the tissue on it for longer periods of time actually made the dye and the color more intense. So I would definitely recommend that if you want a more intense color. So I'm determined to figure this out too. So if you don't already follow me on Instagram, I will be sharing updates as I go on this adventure. And if you're not already subscribed, I obviously now try try to figure out DIYs. I share room makeovers, different DIY projects for your home, so you're not gonna wanna miss them. Hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification so you know exactly when I upload every Sunday, and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys. Totally wish this would've worked, you guys. It's been three days, three days of me working on this dress. Romeo was like, are you gonna give up yet on this dress? And I'm like, no, I will never give up. It will work. <laughs>